back everyone and welcome to my channel good to talk to you once again and today very short words about uh, you know 0.9.7 and kitakami kitakami uh, guys uh, back then when it, when it was a uh, literally a uh, close beta uh, she was a reward uh, ship or a premium ship uh, that you get purchase for real doubloons um, however that was tier 8 Kitakame with 40 torpedoes yes you heard me right 40 torpedoes but the, guys the, tr the truth is the the game has been changed significant we have a lot of cruisers with radars um, so of course guys it's not the same type of game what it was four or five years ago I do believe this ship was uh, released as, as long as five years ago so uh, we're going to uh, move her to tier 10 now if you change a ship from tier 8 to tier 10 literally you can uh, uh, get or receive um, um, in value in us dollars probably as much as six times more a uh, tier 8 premium cruiser versus a tier 10 premium cruiser something like that let me know in a comment below once again I have no idea whatsoever what this ship will cost probably will be a armor ship probably will be a doubloon ship that I have this gut feeling that she will I won't believe for a sec she will be a coal or free experience ship that I don't believe uh, the truth is what I, uh, it's about uh, uh, gold or real money ship is because we're going to decide to troll you as all hell. Uh, don't get me wrong, who does not want to use 40 torpedoes and 15 kilometers are fantastic. And then of course guys, you can, uh, they are kind of a slow. The, the thing is with the torpedoes guys, there are some kind of a modules, perks and all that and uh, you have this opportunity to, to boost up, up from 57 knots all the way to 65 which is fantastic i'm talking about changing the specific build for this particular ship 65 knots 12 kilometers it's absolutely hilarious and even though even though guys uh probably it's not the highest damage but it's still the japanese uh, very hard hitting torpedoes and uh, yes i very much like to have this ship for a spin especially in ocean map then i say good luck with all those campers uh, bbs and so on on the other hand the weakness is obvious she has no gun power whatsoever she does have smoke and of course she has a short cooldown and you know very few seconds of smoke i do believe over here you can definitely see what kind of a smoke uh, and you know the speed it's all right ish 32 knots turning rate 640 not bad rather it's close to uh, uh, pretty damn good and this is you can buff that with the uh, the module and same story with detection with the concealment expert and all the modules probably you will get her to eight point something which is not bad for a cruiser uh, you see here what kind of a gimmick the smoke generator uh, action time 15 second duration 40 second reload 80 seconds so you have six charges with superintendent you have seven of them you also have engine boost and repair party all right so yeah you do have engine boost so 32 knots with a sierra f a flag and uh, i don't know if it's regular eight percent not bad probably the place tell in the ocean is that you dump the torps and get the hell out of there because let's face it in 12 kilometers or you know regular 15 uh, kilometers depending on what kind of build you do have there's most likely that you will hit the damn thing and remember you do have 20 uh, torps on each side and you have to turn your side and send another torp. Uh, literally guys if you see 20, 40 uh, torpedoes in the water and uh, it's a um, uh, ocean map there isn't any chance in hell that you can dodge all those 40 it's absolutely especially if that captain knows what he's doing and he has a uh, good experience with the uh, destroyers then yes this could be definitely a trollish but i have this gut feeling the only way guys the only way you want to purchase this is because you want you want to be trolled by wargaming uh, guys the truth is um, uh, 
a conquer this is the best example can one shot kill with he this ship i honestly believe you can do full damage full uh, uh, citadel with he from conquers and there isn't any uh, place that you can angle it because the the armor it's absolutely hilarious uh 16 millimeters plating all over the place it's it's like a conquer uh shooting at a kuma that's exactly what's gonna happen i mean of course guys if you have the ap especially the us ap you will overpen her for days so so using the uh, your ap versus this ship may overpen even her citadel which basically means that you will do less damage <laughs> with ap versus change to the HE but on the other hand like Borgon, Alsace, you name it uh, oh man uh, uh, they will definitely kill her absolutely one or at least two shots and she's gone mm. I have no idea guys why we're gonna be saying to change this ship from tier 8 to tier 10 for me it's a mystery but the only conclusion it's bit up the price she will be spicy she won't be cheap and it's all about money guys that's that's the honestly believe about this ship making but lots of money so guys that it is and now i very much would like to talk about the um, very interesting uh, ship on the testing ships and i do believe it's the slava has been changed and that is today the 7th june uh so slava's four and and end armor belt thickness reduced from 32 to 25 so literally she'll be um or, i don't know champagne uh, at tier 10 i have no idea something like that guys because champagne is also have this weak uh, armor and you know roosevelt is also has been some changes over there to the the, the bombers uh, so I don't want to talk about that I very much would like to uh, talk about the American ships and of course the German aircraft carrier so here's the deal guys I believe Colorado I I personally think that it's a very good for the game that a new slow 2022 knots uh, are coming to the game yes you have a huge damn broadside so salvo wise if you connect it you 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 will deal a lot of damage the only problem is there's two problems 40 seconds in this game mode meta it's too much and 20 knots at tier uh, 8 9 and 10 it's too damn slow especially in the big large maps like big brother or you name it um, big brother probably it's not the best idea but you know you you get the point the big huge uh, maps uh, 20 21 up knots will not cut it guys guys it's it's painfully hard and something else if a uh, destroyer wants to charge you and mm, let's say want to circle you you're never gonna catch with those stupid 40 uh, seconds reload you're never gonna kill any anytime soon and she is a perfect target for destroyers she's a perfect target for aircraft carrier but most of our uh, cases and this is my honestly opinion about the new u.s battleship line it's perfect uh target for everything in this game it's a huge damn wide ship easy to farm from every angle and most of cases from every single type of ship in this game it's very healthy and very good for cruisers very good for um, uh, he spammers very good for other battleships which are you know faster and something else god forbid if you're too slow then let's say a german secondary full secondary uh, ships are uh, are charging you then what the hell you do with those stupid 40 seconds and r uh, stupid uh, speed so what i'm trying to say the only reason seriously guys why wargaming is putting all those big huge large damn uh, battleships is because they want to, you my dear subscriber to have targets large big fatty clumsy targets and that's the best thing i can couple you may argue that the game is probably they will have epic of a good uh, torpedo belt or somehow pretty insane AA could be 
especially the tier 10. I mean, if you take a closer look how many guns she has, she has cr uh, crazy load of guns. In matter of fact, I will put her at least as strong as the Montana or even better. So props to that. You At least you are pretty much safe in that regards that you may take a hit, first hit, but then the aircraft carrier will lose all the damn planes in return. So, let me know in the comment below what you think about the US uh, battleship line. And uh, of course, the premium one, it's totally different story with a lot of guns and of course, uh, way, way faster uh, and uh, thick, not so thick, faster and more guns and better everything because you know but on the other hand i personally believe that the days of you purchasing the tier 7 any premium ship it's all uh, gone uh, you will be trolled as all hell uh, if you purchase any tier 7 ship i very much would like to urge you to uh, watch uh, some other big youtubers like uh, euro yes watch his latest tier 7 um, shall I say advice to all of you don't buy a tier 7 because it's not good it's really nasty bad matchmaking I will go so far I would like to say for uh, if you still want to uh, purchase a ship if, if you want to enjoy that but you buy a tier 6 or tier 9 not even a tier 8 so those those two I would like to say that it's a kind of a sweet spot not tier 7 anymore um uh, yeah florida not bad i personally i won't grind this line it's not my top uh, cup of tea but it's very good for the game trust me what i'm gonna say right now and same story guys with the um german carriers it's extremely good for the game i would like to say that probably i'm just saying guys i i don't know for sure probably the um, uh, the tier 4 not the tier 4 the tier 6 carrier could be in some interesting i explain you why when you are playing a tier 6 carrier and you're facing tier 7s and tier 8 ships you're kind of screwed especially tier 8 they will melt all your planes you're not gonna have any damage whatsoever and you're useless for the team versus destroyer and you're pretty useless ish for the team even uh, with your uh, torpedo bombers you may land couple of torpedo hits on the other hand they don't do uh, a whole lot of damage it's almost like uh, swedish or pan european destroyers they do they do are fast they are fast they, you land uh, your torpedoes but the damage it's uh, very questionable or lackable versus the same tiers let's say japanese or uh, other nation um something else is kind of important now when you're facing tier 8 um i also have a uh, you know uh, i have all carriers the touch tree carriers at uh, tier 8 but I, I never play them anymore why i don't because we're giving it's decided to nerf them so much they are pretty much useless uh, for your team when you're facing any tier 9 and above ships and your tier 8 because the truth is guys every single ship uh, more or less beside some very very few Italian or Japanese cruiser are uh, kind of um, uh, weak otherwise every single other ships in the entire game are too strong for your strike you can only strike once and then you cannot strike second or third time because you don't have HP pool left all your planes. Even if you're uh, uh, striking one single particular ship, that is the truth about tier 8 carry versus any tier 9 ship. Uh, but that it's a regular ship. If you're going for, let's say, Österjötland, a tier 9 Swedish destroyer, or Halland, or Frieslam, or USS Kid, or Kitakaze, or Akizuki, you can just forget because they, one single destroyer, can deplane you. And remember, if you're using the AP uh, rockets, uh, you will do close to zero damage or very few damage. Matter of fact, uh, 
before you kill one single destroyer, and that's the problem with the, the Germans, before you can kill one single pen European destroyer, I'm talking about from tier uh, 9 and above, on the tier 9 and tier 10, they will deploy you first, uh, before he's down to zero. Yep. And that is good for the game, because the, 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 the tr very much true Holland and Österjotland feeds on your plane, if your German planes. Um, yes, you you may strike her if you're uh, extremely good with the, your uh, torpedo bombers, but I don't see them any strong. Yes, they could be strong versus some cruisers that you can do those uh, nice citadels with AP rockets, but overall, guys, overall. I honestly believe they are too darn weak. I mean, seriously. If you are a tier 8 carrier and you see a lot of, uh, I don't know, Georgias, uh, Alaska, uh, Ager, you name it, the regular uh, Riga and uh, um, all those Soviet cruisers. I mean, what the hell you can do? You will lose all your plane instantly. Yeah, at least if there are two cruisers together, there isn't anything you can do. You know what I mean? So I believe, guys, it's very good for a game because they are a pile of crap. And yes, you might land a couple of, uh, of torpedo hits versus battleships and so on. But let's say um, Iowa or uh, Georgia or uh, any US or German uh, ship, they will most likely have, you know, each and every game 30, 40 planes down or something. Uh, a regular battleship for crying out loud. So I believe it's also good for the game because you're on the other way you feasting your enemy with your planes that's why honestly so do i recommend to play yeah, yeah go ahead i personally believe that i might actually try to tier six see what's going on but i will not go further because <laughs> further the guys i do have midway i know exactly what i'm talking about the midway only playing coup battle because in my honestly opinion she has been power creeped so much she's absolutely useless versus when every single ship are tier 10 then what the hell you do i mean seriously who, who you, you, are you gonna kill who are, are you gonna uh, target you may do some ridiculous 20 30,000 uh, damage in the entire 20 minutes game but you're never gonna do more not in the pure tier 10 battle that's the thing, they are too damn strong in AA. Every single ship you face, it's too damn strong. And uh, your plane, it's only a uh, food piñata versus the enemy's AA guns. That's my honestly opinion. And with those the new carriers, once again, I, I have a feeling that you might do all right-ish and you can troll with your second if you build especially tier 4 and tier 6 I'm not saying too much they might be in some way kind of a fun to uh, take them out but not higher and what I'm saying not higher than tier 8 is that you may do something in damage wise versus tier 8s but versus tier 9s they will eat you alive for lunch breakfast and dinner they are too strong tier 9 versus your pew pew tier 8s planes that that is <laughs> nothing even say about the tier 10 because they are absolutely broken overpower every single ship i mean i cannot come up with one bad tier 8 or tier sorry tier 10 ship with lousy bad aa because the biggest buff in all AA surfer ship is this O reinforcement and when a, a, a skill destroyer when you, he can use press P so you shut down your AA and when it's absolutely in the last second he press reinforced the carrier cannot return he has to fly over and return to that destroyer and while doing that you turn uh, the destroyer is shooting all your plane instantly especially if there uh, has a great great AA defense so what I'm trying to say is that guys uh, that the powerful uh, oopiness of CV it's all all gone I'm talking about high tier tier 8 versus tier 9 destroy that's what I'm trying to say and 
Yes, you may do some spotting left and right, but you're never gonna do those 150, 200,000 damage is never gonna happen. Not when you're underdog. It's a different story when you're going versus tier six ships, and that it's a problem. Where game cannot balance for shit. The tier eight carrier, it's extremely strong versus tier sevens and tier six, especially versus tier six. But then it's absolutely useless in tier 10 when she's the only ship in the entire gameplay when you're facing a tier, all of them tier 10 ship, and then it's absolutely useless. You're only all spotting maniac, you never know, gonna do anything. So I do believe that it's a big problem. And same story over here, what I consider the tier 6 and tier 4. At tier 4, sure, you go for some tier uh, 3 ships with 0 A8, you will fart them for days because they have no defense whatsoever. And th that's also reason I see so many tier 4 players uh, playing uh, at tier, uh, tier 4 because when they are top dog, then they are also, also extreme overpower and too strong versus surface ship that some tier 3 ships has close to zero and I mean zero 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 AA so yeah overall I do believe you over <laughs> that it's actually good for a game those US uh, slow battleship and the Germans carrier which in my honestly opinion both of them are absolutely uh, food piñata farming piñata in my honestly opinions um, because I have this gut feeling that this is this is the truth guys if you are a destroyer and you are uh, on a team with let's say um, a regular test tree let's say a British carrier in your team and the enemy team they do have this Brit uh, sorry uh, German um, uh, CV then you're not afraid because they cannot nuke you you're pretty much safe I'm not saying that it's still a problem because you will be spotted and then the the enemy surface ships will aim at you. So that it's a still a problem. But overall, the CV will not kill you with those stupid, um, useless uh, rockets, AP uh, rockets planes, uh, which is actually good for the destroy because the problem is that some tier 5, tier 6, tier 7s uh, destroyers they have pretty weak in AA even pain European destroyers are kind of a bad and crap at least all the way to tier 8 at tier 9 and tier 10 they are the best but what I'm trying to say is that uh, all the way to tier 8 even the best destroyers has kind of a mediocre in a the real powerhouse it's a huge damn jump from let's say a uh, tier 7 all the way to tier 9 that's extremely high jump in AA performance uh, for most of the ships you know not just destroyer um, battleships cruisers you name it so overall I think it's it's a lot of good things guys for for a ship um, for the game which which is which is good I very much looking forward to face them in uh, some uh, ships like Alaska like uh, uh, you know Egger you don't fear the 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 the, the CV not 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 more yes you will receive some damage but overall uh, you feel kind of a uh, safe and secure that's the weird stuff but that it's I always felt in let's say my my uh, my Alaska so guys, let me know in the comment below what you think about those new updates, the new oncoming. I believe it's actually very good for the game, extremely good for the game. You have more targets, you have more, um, you know, um, more targets to deal a lot of damage and take down the planes, take down the large HP pool and slow, easy to hit, easy to farm. Let me know in the comment below. Have a good one guys, take care and bye.